거기가 언제부터 이렇게 돌아갔어요? 한두달 됐어요. 두 달? 네. 그 전에 아무 일이 없었고? 네. 이러다가 이렇게 갑자기 이렇게 되더라고요. 밖에 검사하다가. 손을 잡지 말고 있어보세요. 반드시 쳐봐요. 여기 쳐다봐요. 더. 어디 있어? 저거 돌아가고. 긴장이 되고 뭉치고 아프기도 하나? 목이 아픈 것보다 막 땡기는 거. 아이고. 이제 가운데로 올수 있을 것 같으면 천천히 가운데 이동시키면서 머물러. 다시 반대로 가. 그렇지. 이렇게 이쪽으로 한몇초 정도 할수 있었었나? 안 됐죠. 1초도 안 됐어? 아이 그거 뭐 어떨지 오늘까지 어땠어요? 조금 좋아. 조금 좋아? 예예 이렇게 어떤 게 없어졌어. 어땠어요? 오른쪽으로 더 이렇게 몸이 자꾸 돌아가더라고요. 근데 앉아있을 때가 더좀 괜찮게 조금 나은 것 같아요. 반대로 돌려봐. 천천히 앞으로 해서 중심 잡아봐요. 전부 다른 몇 프로가 나으셨어요? 80% 나온 것 같아요. 그 전에는 뭐 이게 죽을 것 같았어요. 진짜. 이게 오래 전에는 진짜. 어떠셨어? 통증은 없어졌어요. 통증은 없어졌고 네. 고개는 한몇 프로가 좋아졌어? 70% 정도. 어땠어요? 좀 좋아졌어요. 더 좋아지고 있어요? 네. 어, 뭐가 더 좋아져? 아, 이거 돌아, FCST is abbreviation of functional cerebral spinal therapy. It is treatment to control whole body's inyan balance through balancing TMJ. The purpose of balancing TMJ is upper cervical alignment, spinal alignment, nervous system stabilization, and natural healing of body. That is to say that FCST helps to open up the block channel that connects brain and body, realigning the spine, stabilizing nervous system. What factor causes misalignment of spinal structure? The answer is in C2, which is the one and only central axis of the spine. Then why is the C2 important? Human body has 24 vertebrae, which includes cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. Of all these vertebrae, there is only one vertebra with an axis, the C2. Our body is affected as axis C2 is distorted. When the axis C2 is distorted, the LS C1 is also immediately distorted, and the rest of the vertebrae in the spine will soon follow, as will the pelvis and cranial bones, like in the domino effect. Consequently, it will lead to the cranial stratification and the restricted flow of cerebrospinal fluid. Then, there will be problems on the circulation and central nervous system. What factor causes misalignment of axis C2? The answer is imbalance of TMJ. 
Once the C2 are distorted due to the TMJ imbalance, the entire structure will follow and distort. And this will negatively impact on the brain-body communication through restriction of foramen magnum as well as restriction of jugular foramen, another opening in the base of the skull transmitting veins and arteries. When the TMJ disc space is normalized through TMJ balancing therapy, C2 is aligned as well as the size of foramen magnum is normalized. I've explained in what aspect I see the disease and its principles and concepts. I put everything in one diagram for the summary. For the better understanding, I rotated the horizontal diagram in the previous slide into the vertical diagram. The treatment applied to the higher rank can be the treatment in the lower rank. In the lower rank, more specific therapies are applied. I consider balancing TMJ as top priority factor to resolve structural problems. For the TMJ balance, I make use of intraoral devices as our main treatment. There are two types of intraoral devices used for balancing TMJ. CBA is Disposal Custom Made Intraoral Balancing Appliance, which allows balance of TMJ at the optimal freeway space to the individuals until deflection. The purpose of CBA is to align C2 at all times through balancing TMJ in relation to maxillary and bodily posture. TBA and OBA are intraoral devices for keeping TMJ balance stable after the use of CBA when deflection has occurred and keeping C2 in aligned position and stabilization of occlusion and mandible. I apply a wide range of therapies other than TMJ balancing therapy. These therapies are applied for structural alignment. There are upper cervical and spinal alignment technique, spine balancing therapy, craniosacral therapy, and disc decompression balancing therapy. There are other secondary therapies as well. Depending on individual's condition and need, I apply different types of secondary therapies like as acupuncture, cupping therapy, herbal medicine, counseling program, and rehabilitative exercise program. This chart shows the number of cases in my clinic from 2002 through 2013. I listed several diseases based on the highest ratio of patients.